Today we have a 2021 BDS Ford Bronco. So it's a Ford Bronco, but it's one of the ones that BDS got picked to build for and showcase at Ford SEMA booth. So super cool Bronco. Totally has a good look, single cab, two door. It's the manual version. So it's kind of cool that it's, it's different compared to what most of the ones you're seeing right around the, the automatics. With that being said, it also had the aluminum front differential. And uh, today what we did is Ford Performance is upgrading front, they have a new front HD differential that you pull out your aluminum one and you can still put this new one up and in it's a replacement for obviously factory bolt-in location upgrade. And really, it's not that Ford, oh, put out this really weak differential, it's that that differential fits the needs of so many other people that are uh, not as extreme hardcore. Obviously it's a cast differential instead of a cast aluminum. So it's cast steel versus cast aluminum. It has a little bit larger ring gear. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot stronger uh, differential. BDS, if you know them, they like to push the boundaries. They push the limits, they wheel their vehicles. They wanted to put the bigger front end under it. So I thought it was kind of cool to see just that Ford's coming into it with options to upgrade directly from Ford. I mean, they, they didn't just come in and say, hey, we have this vehicle. They, they, did some things that allowed it to be buildable. So when you get the aluminum differential, it's gonna be an open differential, essentially a non-locking differential. When you upgrade to the steel one, it's a lot stronger all the way out to the ends of it. It's uh, unlike other solid axle vehicles where they hang a little bit lower, these get tucked up a little bit higher. This, uh, this Bronco also has the RCV performance axle shaft, so it's supposed to be, you know, especially for 37s, a super strong setup. 